Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can make a drop effect like a shadow kind of effect on your photos using Canva. And I am doing this tutorial because you choose on my community tab. Here I'm gonna show you how you can go to my YouTube channel. Then once that you are in my channel, you can go to the community tab and I add some comments or poll questions there sometimes. And the majority of the people chose a Canva tutorial for the next tutorial. So I'm making this tutorial because of that. So be pending of those posts because I'm gonna be doing more of them in the near future where you can select what is the next tutorial that you want to have. Let's get started. Today's video is very interesting because I love Canva and I love all the features that has for us. And this effect is actually for the pro version and you can use it only on desktop version. I'm gonna show you how you can make this shadow effect on your photos on my computer. Let's go to my Canva now. I'm gonna open Canva here and I'm gonna log in and you can see all the designs that I have right here. I'm going to pretend that I'm going to create a YouTube thumbnail so you can see how I'm gonna be using these effect. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using a photo from Canva that has either a person or some photo that I can use this shadow effect. I'm seeing this puppy right here and it's so cute that I'm going to use this. This is just a template and what I'm going to be doing is just to duplicate this page. And now that it's here, I am going to remove everything from here. I'm going to be removing this. I'm going to detach from the background and I'm going to use the background remover. And while Canva does this magic, let me tell you that I have a whole playlist that it's called Canva tutorial and you can find it here. And you can find there some other tutorials on how to remove the background using your mobile or how you can make the outline glow effect using Canva and some others there. Let's get back to this. I'm gonna apply this effect and I'm gonna just move this photo from here to the other one. So now we have duplicated a puppy and I'm just gonna make it bigger so it fits the background picture. I'm gonna crop it a little bit as well because I don't want all these. Let me just gonna crop it from here to remove all the excess of the picture. I'm gonna click on done and then I just have the puppy right here. I'm gonna just enlarge it until it fits the original background and there it is. Now that we have the puppy that we want, I'm gonna select the shadows right here and I'm gonna click this drop effect and it changed the size but if you saw this other video of mine where I show you how to make the glow outline effect, you could see that I use these shadows right here. And if you haven't seen them, go and watch it once this video ends. I'm gonna be adding it here. And you can see that sometimes the sizes changes. So I'm not gonna be worrying about that just now. If you can see, there's a shadow already. So I'm gonna be clicking on the drop effect button again because you can see there are three lines like settings button there so I'm gonna be clicking on that and you can play around with this shadow you can change it of color you can make it red if you want I'm gonna just leave it in black and also you can change the offset here to make it a little bit more dramatic I'm gonna use it in three and you can also change the orientation of the shadow in this case you can choose all these options from here and you can see how the shadow effect changed also you can choose top right right bottom right so just for the sake of this video I'm gonna use top right there it is the shadow as you can see the size is not right yet I'm gonna be just leaving that you can make it blur and the default I guess was five or you can make it even more dramatic so I'm just gonna 
leave it on eight and you can change the transparency as well. So I'm gonna use these settings right here. I'm gonna click on the apply button. This button is very important because if you don't apply the changes, you might lose all the settings that you had selected. Now let's work with the size of this puppy. And there it is. You can see how there's a nice shadow effect right here that will help your photos look more vivid, more dramatic, more like a 3D effect or somehow more realistic than without the shadow. It is really easy to do this as you could see. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this and if you're new to this channel just let me tell you that in this channel I make videos that will help you to grow personally, professionally and also will help you to grow your business. So if you're interested in this kind of content just click on this subscribe button down below and hit that bell button so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I hope you liked this video and that you find it useful. And if you did, please don't forget to click on that like button and on the subscribe button down below so I can bring more content for you. And don't forget to leave your comment down below where you can just ask me a question or suggest another tutorial for Canva or any other application as well. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time. Bye-bye.